I do, and I know you guys have had the same experience. That your work just takes you into these things where you end up on in weird databases, <laughs> <You're> searching for <laughs> topics, and then you find them, and you're like, I'll be darned. Somebody <laughs> over here in you know fashion design is doing something that totally relates to what I want to do. And then you go get that book, and you read it, and you tell everyone about how interesting there's this great connection between fashion design and what it is you're trying and to do. And they all look at you like you're, you're not. just bizarre. Right. And so you have to find spaces where people will talk to you about this stuff. But my friend said to me, well, you know, why are you doing all these readings in other disciplines? And I said, well, you know, that's just where the path is leading, so I'm going there. And she said, well, we would never do that. Mm -hmm. She said, in psychology, and she graduated from here, by the way, this, so it's this university. Um, you, by the time, you're not even done with your program all the way yet. You know, you're reading for your exams, and you've already reached the point where you would never do reading in cognitive psychology if you're in early childhood psychology. Mm -hmm. Because there are hundreds of journals in early childhood psychology, and so you read those journals. And you would never go over to cognitive psychology because those that's a whole other thing. And it reminded me very much of conversations that I've had with people in English literature where, where we're having a conversation about something that they do that's in medieval literature, and I say, oh, that's really interesting. That's, that's, there's a great connection there to technology, and they'll say, you know, no, there's not. <laughs> what a leap that is. And I'm, I'll say, well, no, I just made it, right? I said, I'm not going to go from there and like, we talk about it. And they don't see it that way. So I actually think that it's quite possible that, that these spaces that we are in right now, even though the university, I do think, will shift to a more sort of interdisciplinary kind of focus, mm -hmm. I still think that like this exact space, if you if you try to visualize it in your mind as a real space, um, they'll remain tenuous because they're tenuous by nature because they're built by people like us mm -hmm. yeah. who who are here because we're the kind of people who like making those weird jumps between things that don't seem to go together, and many, if not most, people don't like making those jumps. They're not comfortable with discontinuity and disorder. It doesn't make them happy. They like having a boundary. And I I would have to argue after reading a lot of the stuff about disciplines that, you know, there are reasons why boundaries are good, you know. But as an individual in my life I've just never been good at them. I've never been good at any of them ever. You know, these or any others. And I'm not sure if that doesn't say something very specific about me and about us and the kind of people that we are, which means that we are we will never be able to create spaces like this that are institutionalized. Because the institutionalization, like Kathy's saying, kills it. Well, but I think that I mean that also creates a problem for us um, in the fact that I was just talking to Kathy about trying to put together my uh, special fields exam list and how I have to work within those categories that are set up by the English department. And if I want to work, if I want to develop a, a new category for my exam, if I, want, if I don't think that critical theory works and I want to make up a new category, I've got to justify that. And I've got to be able to explain it to a committee that's full of literature people. And part of the way that Kathy said that she put her list together was that she put things not in categories that she thought made sense to her, but things that made, she thought would make sense to the literature people on the committee. Because, and that's the reason why the boundaries are so comfortable, because then everybody understands what you're talking about. Right. If you're working within those boundaries. But if you, go out, if you go outside of them, then there's constantly somebody saying, well, I don't understand why this book is on your list, and I don't understand why it's in this category. Um, I don't understand why you would need to do in-person interviews for case studies. <laughs> Right, exactly. And so you get asked a lot of strange questions. Sorry. We all have to